Baking Soda Kitchen. Today I'll be unboxing the Mistral MIHC 1800 induction cooker. If you haven't watched all our unboxing and review videos, there's a playlist link in the description where you can check out all of them. I'm sure you'll enjoy every single one of our unboxing videos. So now, before I get into unboxing this product, please remember to subscribe to Baking Soda Kitchen for interesting videos. I will unbox and show everything that comes with this induction cooker. Okay, I'm going to open the product now. After opening the package, there are two boxes inside. So if I'm not wrong, this cardboard box has a pot. So let's open it and find out. So inside the first cardboard box is this pot that comes with this induction cooker. So I'm just going to take it out now. It also comes with a lid. So this is the lid and then it comes with quite a big pot. You can make a, a lot of things in this. I think it's meant to be used for a hot pot or something because the pot looks really big and that is what I assume its purpose is. So the next thing in this is also the styrofoam box which contains the induction cooker. Okay, so I've taken the induction cooker out of the box. It's safely packed with the electric cable as well. I'm just going to take it out of the plastic. The instruction manual is also inside. So this is everything that comes with the box. Here is the induction cooker, the instruction manual and the free pot that comes along with it as well. So now I'll give you a brief demonstration of how this induction cooker works. So I've already plugged it in and switched on the power. The induction cooker doesn't turn on until you press the on off here. Once that is pressed, the next thing that you, will, uh, you are going to press is the function. And then it goes to P6. If you see closely here, it's currently flashing E0. And it also has a beeping sound. So now I'll explain to you what that is. Okay, the beeping sound is actually a safety feature that is built into this induction cooker. When you don't have a pot on the induction cooker right now, no heat will be transferred. So even if you put your hand on the induction cooker, it's not going to be hot. Until you put a pot on, then that is where you can adjust the function and the heating settings as well. So this is a very good safety feature in case you have children who may put their hand on the induction cooker, they won't get hurt. Besides the safety function, you can also hear a background noise which is the ventilation fan that is built underneath the induction cooker. So it's not very loud but there is a ventilation fan so that this doesn't overheat. And the next thing I want to say is this lock function here. Um, as the word says, you can pretty much understand what it already means. If you have children running around the house, you can lock this while it's cooking so that they won't be able to mess with it or they won't be able to change the settings of the induction cooker. And the last thing is there's also a timer feature right over here. This timer feature allows you to set a preset timing for how long you want to cook your uh, food items so that they won't burn even if you are not directly next to the stove. Okay, that was my brief demonstration of this product. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, stay tuned. I'll be posting a 30-minute dinner recipe that I will be making with this induction cooker. I won't be telling you what exactly I'm making yet. Stay tuned and subscribe so that you will be able to watch the video once it comes out. And um, give this video a huge thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Subscribe to Baking Soda Kitchen. And if you want to purchase this product, the link is in the description. You can click on the link and check the product out. 
Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.